Bros play. Brawl. Bros. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I'm gonna show you the pursuer. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm hoping I can just watch him from here. That's you him? Yeah, you ready for this shit? He's a fucking badass. Hey, you're gonna fight him now, or is he gonna mess you up? I'll try to fight him, but three dudes... <sighs> Three dudes will spawn up here at the same time, and there's just no fucking way. Hello! Oh, he's leaving. Oh boy! <laughs> yeah. Okay. If you don't, if you don't fight him, he takes off, and so he'll never be, he'll never come back to that spot. But you definitely fight him. Again. Yeah. Oh yeah. There's a spot you can fight him, and it's easier. No. Yeah, that was not a good corner. All right. These guys are so slow. Fuck you guys. Fuck you, and your fat wife. Woo! Wow. Do, do they have fire bombs? The one guy does, and he stands on the corner like an ass. I'm gonna go. Is that guy one of the three guys? No. No, there's actually four total guys that spawn up there, plus the pursuer. Wow. So, to fight him the first time would be fucking ridiculous. Yeah. Like, I don't know who... Just to be able to take five people. Yeah. This lady is so annoying. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, you like that? <laughs> What's with the sword? How you doing, girl? That was, that was just another player. With a gigantic, oh, with a big fucking sword. Alright. Uh, no, that's the definition of a BF sword. I want to put my int up, because I like to do some spells. Let's do some spells. This is such an in-depth game. It's a wonderful game. I love it. Like, for example... Let's just go into here. Every time you talk to her, she says, Bearer of the curse, seek souls. Anyway. Um, Sounds very uh, NES original. <laughs> there's a lot of aspects of this game that are very NES um, era. But see it, see the highlighted on the right side? How the, the stats change around? Yeah, those are the ones that are governed by each of those? Yeah. Notice how HP is always on. That's Every, weird. Everything that you increase gives you health. Which is cool. Which makes sense. So that no matter what, when you're leveling up, you're scaling with the characters. Yeah. Yeah, and there's a point well, I'm at in, in the in the the game where um, sorry, I was just turning to make sure. I always think halfway through an episode, oh, what if this isn't working? What if what if what if this uh, just isn't recording? Um, but uh, you can't you can't make proper let's plays with that idea that like oh I don't want to I don't know if I want to do everything I was planning on saying and doing because it might not record right. You just gotta go into it. Just just faith man you gotta have faith and not only that it never hurts to have a few stories of the episodes that got away yes oh Which dude certainly had a couple i recorded six episodes of bioshock 2 then hello then got out and uh for some reason i just cannot record it proper oh which is which never sucks because i was so excited about it um it's a great game and I guess, I don't know, I shouldn't bring that up now. Um, <laughs> talk about that later. No, we'll talk about that later. But uh, I was very excited about it. I was having a lot of fun. And then uh, just went and looked at it and went, oh, that's, that's, uh, that's not what I wanted. Mm, no, yeah, no, that's tough. I'm not everywhere. One thing I've, I've noticed a bit about this game is, like, the idea of this game is to make it seem like you're adventuring. Yeah. And my favorite part about this is that it never tells you where to go. Like, she just says, like, seek the king. I still haven't found... I'm, like, 36 hours into the game and I still haven't found the king, so... Oh, so that's just, like, that's your goal. That's my goal, yeah, king. find the king. And I have a feeling when I get there, the king's probably going to want to kill me. Yeah, probably. <laughs> like, like Either that or else. you're going to want to kill him. Yeah. It seems like everything in this game wants to kill me. But, uh... Well, that's actually one thing I've noticed that... I, I think I feel like a few games are starting to do that more, is not tell you quite as much because it's sometimes a lot more fun to figure it out on your own yes like absolutely. diablo if you go online to try and find support for that game it does not exist but what we've realized is that when we play the same characters we start to learn all the little nuances right you know spending all that time finding all those items with the marginally different descriptions yeah i'm really i'm really surprised that diablo 3 for it being entirely on a just a pc game and it was made by people who are experts at the rpg world i'm surprised that they don't have detailed information about things it always surprised me too but i've started to realize that there's things like there's certain maps you, you can just sort of 
discover the flow of them because you've done them so many times and there's certain aspects of the game you know just aren't as worth it as other things and yeah there's even things that are essentially myths that are like you know you, nobody really knows what the drop rate is no one can really tell well something that I, i've been discovering recently through g watching game grumps because i was never into nintendo games uh, other than we, we, we played gamecube a long time ago but other than that i never really appreciated them and something that they do really really well is create community through the things that they choose not to fully explain um and that was a huge part of why Zelda A Link to the Past was so great, is that it was filled with stuff that you need to talk to people in order to figure it out, unless you figured it out yourself. But the, the whole point, and I can't remember the creator's name, the mastermind behind the whole thing, but his whole intention with that game was to create a community around the people. Oh, this is getting out of hand. <laughs> oh boy, these guys are moving a lot faster. Oh crap. Right, you know what? Fuck you guys. I don't think you're getting out of there, dude. Yeah, not working. Not working. You gotta jump. You gotta I jump. Couldn't, I couldn't do anything. My character was stuck trying to ladder. <laughs> oh, really? That's I brutal. forgot how to ladder. <laughs> it's oh, okay. So you, have to, you have to get back there, don't you? Yeah, it's right next to the, uh, to the bonfire, uh, though. Very convenient. Um, but that's what this game does, is that I... The amount of things I've had to Google on this game, man, like, I've kind of blasted through it right now because I've played it a few times, but the first time I played it... Ow! Hello! This is already turning into a, yeah. a, an amazing playthrough. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Fuck you guys. Let's reset. <laughs> Are your souls still there? Yeah, yeah. Your souls won't go away. Um, the only time they'll go away is if you die. Oh, okay. All so right. even if you just save now, you can come back? Let's try again. I forgot about this dude. Hello! <laughs> Blocking is actually not the worst thing. Um, with a with a shield, it's significantly more uh, viable. Uh, but with two-handed, it's not as good. But it's still not as bad as I thought it was originally. But I picked up a fire sword. Let's see if I can carry that. Need more dexterity. Although maybe let, let me see if I can do it with two hands. Sometimes because there's there's the requirements for two and one hands. Okay. Oh wow. Okay, no. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna increase my dexterity next time. Oh, what the fuck am I doing? My. No wonder I'm doing so much damage. The starting item for this character is better than any of the other items I've found. Uh. Weird. This is the best way to 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 do pretty much every level in this game is to just get them to come up at you, the the least amount of ca uh, characters at one time. Yeah, because it's a lot. Of, well. The blocking, I, I'd expect the blocking to reduce the damage a lot more. Uh, yeah, there's, um, one of the things dictates, uh, block, block, uh, effectiveness. So, I just haven't, I just probably haven't upgraded that enough. Oh, okay. Also, if you had a shield, like you said, it would definitely make a difference. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna do a shield. I might, though, it would work well with this character because I want to use, uh, like, right now, I can't use that heal unless I do a change to this to be holding it on, on my left hand. Oh, so you want a, a one-hand weapon? Yeah, so if I can get a, if I got a shield in this hand, it would provide protection, plus I could use my spell. That'd be a good idea. I'm glad I bounced this off of you. <laughs> good thing you're <laughs> no here. No problem, dude. <laughs> now, something I was going to actually call you out on in the middle of the show. I was gonna, I was gonna originally talk to you... Um, uh, separately, and then I thought, you know what? I'll do it in front of the audience, so you have to. Which was, <laughs> we need to do more episodes in a, in, 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 uh, a week. Alright. But then you were like, hey, no, I got more than an hour to go, so, there you go. You avoided, yeah, no. you avoided the grilling. <laughs> I'm joking. Yeah. There's no grilling on the show. Yeah, Thursdays end up being a really good day for me. I actually don't have class. Uh, all I have to do is, like, meet with one of my groups for, well... A long time, but that's all I have to do. <laughs> well, for, well, for a long time. All right. There is uh, what's really cool about this. Well, I guess it might take a bit for me to get to, but some of the best armor and weapons you can get pretty shortly, and it's it's uh, a boss fight that doesn't require um, 
like it's not a traditional boss fight. For the most part, this game is traditional boss fights with just you fighting somebody. But this one is totally different. All right, I would you, you can get some of the best stuff. Some of the best armor for a heavy person. Hmm. Yeah, if you're looking, I don't know if it's going to work well for this character. I will be looking up uh, good weapons for this character. I'm just exhausting this guy's uh, conversation pieces. That guy, oh, right. you, you can said you fight. only have to mash A, right? Yeah, yeah. So I just kept talking to him until the same thing kept coming up. Um, fucking barrels! This guy, the first time I played through, I just decided to murder him. And uh, I don't know exactly what he does for me. I should look up a lot of this stuff, because it's a great... It's a great... Uh, it's a lot more fun when you know what you're doing. And uh, this gate's going to close on me. Didn't know that the first time. It was unfortunate. But the secret here is to stay at this door and fight them as they come out. Because a lot of them come out. <laughs> Whoa, yeah. The one thing I've noticed is that there's a big dynamic to just enemy pathing. Yes. You get yeah. a bunch of enemies in one place, and they're all pathing independently. And they usually program the pathing of each enemy separately. So each, one um, thing I've... Oh, well, each unit, I guess. Okay, there we go. Yeah, the this game has a lot of um, everything is uh, solid in the world. It, it, everything everything has unit collision, and unit collision is a huge part of the game as well. Is this a secret door? Oh man, it'd be so cool if I found secrets that I didn't already know about. Doesn't that look like a secret door? Does that look like there's an outline to a? Yeah, it really doesn't look like a regular wall. Hmm. Can Maybe. you open secret doors by walking into them? Uh, no, you gotta press A on them. Oh. But sometimes I've been so surprised it just ha- No! Oh! Okay, so the controller has disconnected. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> that was perfect timing, actually.